Hello, 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 and this is your girl, Camille, with Cooking with Camille. Today we're going to do some um, chicken alfredo, but I got a new pasta I want to try. Uh, it's called Baytona Chicken Roasted Garlic, and the tortillas are stuffed with chicken. And I'm going to add more chicken to it. I have some leftover chicken from the barbecue chicken. I diced that up. You're going to need... Uh, Three cloves of garlic, diced up. You're going to need two cups of uh, whipping milk. I'm going to use carnation. I'm going to got another can I'm going to use. I got some Parmesan cheese I'm going to grate. And I got some shredded Parmesan. And I got some Texas toast we're going to do. Mike Ugger, I changed my mind. I'm going to make it fresh. I said I was going to buy uh, <laughs> Alfredo sauce, but I'm going to make it. Uh, you're going to need... Uh, <clears throat> A teaspoon of um, Italian seasoning. You're going to need about a, a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper. A fourth of a teaspoon of onion powder. And we're only going to do about, just a, you want to use a lot of salt. About a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Okay? Because the cheese is already salty. Matter of fact, I'm not going to do no salt. Because the cheese is already salty. Okay? So let's get started. This party started. I got the noodles boiling. Not the noodles. I got the water boiling. I got two pots. I got the pot over here with some water and oil in it for my uh, pasta. So it's ready to go. I'm going to turn this on and put, oh yeah, you're going to need a stick of butter. We're going to put the butter and the garlic in here and go ahead and start to simmer. Okay, let me get the noodles already going. We're going to drop the noodles in there. I never had these. These are new. So we're going to try this. These, and it says you cook it for, uh, use three quarts of water for five minutes or longer. Into soft bites. Okay, we only need a half a stick of butter. Half a stick of butter. And we're going to put our garlic in there. And start sauteing it. Saute it real good. And matter of fact, I'm going to add the chicken with it too. So it can all saute together. And that's three, three garlic cloves. The chicken and some butter. And we're just going to saute it. And then you're going to add your two cups of milk. I'm going to use carnation milk. You can use regular milk. If you use regular milk, you might have to thicken it up a little bit. But with all this cheese, we might not. So while this is uh, stir frying, I'm going to go ahead and grate my uh, Parmesan cheese up. i got to find my grater. Okay, this is uh, Stella Parmesan. This is aged for 10 months. 10 months. The uh, ager it is, the stronger it is, and the better it is. So uh, we're going to use this. And then I got some shredded too. Shredded. It's aged 10 months too. So if some people who don't have graters uh, don't want to uh, use my cutting board. Don't. Uh, I got the shredded too. Already shredded in case. I didn't know how my hands was with this carbo tunnel. So we're going to cut it in half and try grating it, okay? Okay, here I saute the chicken and the garlic and the butter together. Now we're going to add the milk and just let it continue to cook. Now we're going to add the other can of carnation. Just like you would do macaroni and cheese. But we're gonna put chicken in it. And look at these pastas. This pasta is blowing up. Okay, and then we're gonna get a, a grated some of this cheese. This is how it looks. I'm gonna add that in there. And make sure you get a wire whip so you can keep um, adding it. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit of onion powder. Half a teaspoon. I'm gonna add half a teaspoon. Uh, we're gonna eighth a teaspoon of pepper. 
And I'm going to do one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, my favorite. And then we're just going to continue to stir it with a wire grip and just keep stirring it until it thickens up. If you need to thicken it, you know, make a roux, flour and butter. And thicken it up a little bit. I'm going to let it slow cook for a minute. Until it get a little thick and let it thicken up on its own. And then we'll add the pasta. I'm going to cut this down. And I'm going to finish grating. I got a little piece of cheese left. I'm going to finish grating that. While you wait. Dang, that was a lot just that. So I'm going to add that. And I got a little piece left that I didn't want to cut my hand on. So I'm just going to cut it up real fine and add it to the sauce. Okay, and we're just going to whip that together. Until we get it thick. It's cheese ought to make it thick. You might not have to add no roux to it because it's cheese going to make it thick. Mm. Not bad. Okay, I'm put it on low, and I'm gonna let it keep um, simmering for about five minutes. I'm gonna add a little garlic powder to this, about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and I'm gonna add a little paprika for color, about a half a teaspoon of paprika. And I got this Crayola seasoning salt. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that. Just about a half a teaspoon of that. Now let's whip it until it get thick. Look how this look, y'all. See, it's thickening up. That's enough of my pastas. The cheese almost melted. And if you want to add more cheese, I got another bag of cheese. I can add it to make it real cheesy if I want. We can. But we got to put it in now so it can start melting. I think I will add it. Nah, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Let me think. It's thick. It's thick. Maybe I better not. Okay, y'all know I'm extra. I'm going to add a little wine to it. I'm going to add about two caps of wine to it. This is apple wine. <laughs> y'all know me. I'm extra. Let's see if it's going to give it a different taste. I'll stir it up and let it continue to simmer about two more minutes. Okay, now I drain the noodles. Now we're just going to add the noodles to our mixture. Continue. Now I'm going to use the spoon because I don't want them to break up. And we're going to put that on low and let it continue to cook. Let me show you close up the picture. Now remember the pasta got chicken in it too. This is a new pasta, y'all. I just had to try it. Let's see how it turns out. Look at that sauce. Look at that sauce, y'all. Oh, my goodness. I'm glad I only used one bag and one carnation milk. Or well, two carnation milks because I didn't want to make sure I had enough for the noodles. I'm getting ready to make this garlic bread. I was going to make a salad, but I'm too tired. It's too late. And I got to do, I forgot, y'all. Forgot to do the... Uh, drawing so i'm gonna do the drawing tonight as soon as everybody eat and get out of my way i'll do the drawing and come back and let you know who the winner is okay everybody i'm sorry that i'm late i worked a double yesterday and i came home and went to sleep i was exhausted and uh had a lot to do Went to pay bills, had to get my license plate, which is a lot. So, yeah, but I'm going to work on that, uh, that tonight. Okay, everybody? Now, we're going to let this simmer for about two more minutes um, while the garlic bread's cooking. Okay, everybody, here it is. Stuffed Alfredo chicken pasta and noodles. I got chicken pasta. Chicken stuffed in the pasta with extra chicken around it and Alfredo. 
and some garlic bread. Look at that. Ooh, look how pretty. Y'all, look at that. I was going to make a salad, but I'm too tired, y'all. I'm, I'm really tired. And my tooth hurt. My sinus has been draining. And my tooth hurting. Got to get to the dentist. That's one reason why I didn't do it yesterday, y'all. I'm just in, I'm just tired. I haven't got rested from vacation. Plus, went to work, work and then vacation. So, I am so sorry. But here it is. Stuff chicken alfredo pasta and noodles mm. with garlic mm. my granddaughter said mm. say say hi everybody hi my name is Matisse. I bishop i just went to school and i just came home so bye she's something eat. else and we gonna eat today i hope you watch our video come down this low and hit this down bottle like subscribe mm. this channel. That's right. Good job. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm